Hey guys, this is Yoda, and this video will be about engineering, uh, mostly old expansion engineering that you can use in Dragonflight uh, Mythic Plus Season 3. So we'll start off with Northrend engineering here. Um, the first one is Flex Weave Underlay. This goes on your cape, and it shoots out a little parachute. When you activate it, you can also cancel Aura the parachute to make yourself uh, fall instantly. If you parachute, then cancel it, it makes you fall basically from where you canceled it. Uh, so you can use it to reduce fall damage. In Season 2, it was useful in Neltheris. Season 1, it was really good in Azure Vault. This season is not that great other than uh, jumping into Razan's Pit in Ataldazar and randomly in the raid uh, on Farak. So we'll jump off here. Also, Hunters can use this to make their disengage go further, like in all forms of content, so that's useful for them. Um, so I'll demo the parachute here. You can use it like this. Then you can cancel it to drop insta. Uh, and Razan, basically you fall naturally and then use it like right before you land. And if you did it, if you like popped it too early, then you just cancel it. So that's the parachute from North Run Engineering. Um, and this is the Nitro Boost. So I already have it on my belt. In my opinion, this is like mandatory for tanks. DH kind of gets a pass, maybe, but still useful in Black or Cold. Um, but yeah, this is the Nitro Boost. It's a speed boost. Okay, it backfired. This doesn't backfire in Mythic Plus, uh, but it can backfire out in Open World, so I'll do it again after. can backfire in Open World in Mythic Zero. It, I've never seen it backfire in Mythic Plus after like, you know, hundreds of uses, so I'm pretty sure it can't. Um, you note that the belt goes on a two minute cooldown and it puts your potion on one minute. Um, so for DPS players, it's kind of awkward to use it. Tanks, you know, it's much more valuable to like group the pack faster, in my opinion, than get a potion, like one fifth of a potion use. Uh, the only thing is like if you pot it, like so let's say for damage, then you know you need a belt three minutes later. Well, you can't, you can't use it if your po if your potion's on cooldown. Um, but in my opinion, the, the extra gathering speed slash less damage taken is way more valuable than a potion. Especially in Season 3 where the potion is not that good anyway. Um, we'll get back to the belt once it's off cooldown. Uh, let me show you where to get this. So it's Northrend Engineering. Note that it's not Legion Dalaran. You go to Old Dalaran. So we're in Stormrun in the portal room. Uh, and you just walk over here to this. This Dalaran portal right here. And then you go to the engineering trainer. So we walk out. Engineering trainer is over here, I think. Yep, exit, take a quick right. And you're there, bang. Uh, you talk to this guy, he'll teach you everything you need to know. Anything you need to buy uh, to train, you can like go here, it's right here, engineering auction house. Uh, belt's almost off cooldown, so we'll do that soon. Uh, next we'll talk about Draenor Engineering. I'll do the belt later. So from Draenor Engineering, as far as I know, there's only one useful thing, which is the Ultimate Gnomish Army Knife. I'll show it in my bags real quick. Uh, you can use this to resurrect a dead ally, 10 minute cooldown, out of combat. Uh, and it also includes every profession tool randomly. Not really useful for Mythic Plus, but like, let's say you have an Arclight's Banner and a Black comes with Hammer or whatever else in your bag. You don't need that, you just need this. Uh, you can use this to res a dead ally out of combat. So like, let's say you're a demon hunter with, or a night elf demon hunter or a rogue or a hunter, and then you just like try to skip and then your healer failed and no one can res. Well, now it's you to the rescue. You can use this knife. It does have like a 50% failure rate. So you're still gambling, but you know, 50% is better than 0%. Um, so I'll show you where to get this real quick. You get this, uh, in Draenor. So we'll go back to Stormwinds. I'll demo the belt also real quick. Hopefully it doesn't backfire this time. This is the belt. I was talking about the speed belt. You can use it. Boom. Speed boost. Super useful for tanks regrouping. Uh, normal DPS, I would probably not recommend use this. Uh, you probably prefer one of the other ones because it shares a cooldown with belt enchant. Or with belt, other belt enchants, which are good. Uh, so anyway, we're in Stormrun. You take this portal to Ashran. Horde has a different city, so you have to find the engineering trainer there. Uh, I won't show it in this video, but it's pretty easy to find. The engineering trainer, if I remember right, is right here. Okay, so you don't talk to this guy, you talk to this guy, engineering plans. You might need to talk to him to learn drainer engineering, I don't really remember. Um, but then you talk to this guy, take this drainer engineering recipe, buy this, and then use it. 
Uh, and that will teach you everything you need to know to get the knife. So then you go to Trader Engineering, craft gear spring parts. You need 15 true iron ore and 15 black rick ore. Uh, you can get that from the auction house, pretty cheap. So you craft one gear spring parts at any anvil. Uh, there's one like right here. And you can also, from there, you can craft the ultimate Gnomish army knife. And you can use that to res out of combat. Roughly 50% failure rate. Don't know the actual chance, but I've used it quite a few times over the years, and it's like, it seems like it's 50-50. Uh, okay, so that's Northrend Engineering and Drainer Engineering. Next we have Cold Tier, and so this is BFA. Uh, you have the belt. The most useful one here is the belt knock, personal space amplifier. So we'll put this on my belt. Uh, this is what I recommend most DPS use. Um, people are ran also randomly using this in Race the World First for Farak on like the caster ads, the far ones, they would use this to knock them in. I'll go to Veldraken real quick to demo this. You get this in Kul'Tiris or Zoldazar, whatever your faction is. Find the engineering trainer. Most people know how to get there, so I'm just going to show the belt. I'm not going to show the engineering trainer. Okay, I'm just going to knock this critter here. It's not actually a critter, it's like a neutral mob. And bang. So you can use that to like knock a mob out of Sanguine, group a caster, group an archer, whatever. 10 minute cooldown though, it doesn't share cooldown with your pot, so you can use it like twice a dungeon. Not like Omega game changing, but definitely useful, especially in Black or Cold. Alright, next uh, is the thing that competes with it, which is the Shadowlands Engineering for DPS in my opinion. Dimensional Shifter, uh, let me try putting it on this belt, it might still be on cooldown, but we'll see. Basically, this lets you turn invisible. In my opinion, this is super useful for uh, Augmentation Evoker. And I'll explain why in a sec. So you can use this, and it turns you invisible. Bang. So let's say you forgot to save your pot. You can use this, turn invisible, and do the skip. I wouldn't recommend relying on this, except as Augmentation Evoker, uh, because it has a chance to fail, and when it fails, it's really bad. Like it Basically, you can't even use Invis Pot afterward. Um, but as a backup, it's pretty nice, and it can save you a potion, too, if you are willing to gamble. Um, for Augmentation Evoker, the reason I say it's, like, you can just use it is, so Augmentation Evoker has an ability called the Wernstone. Uh, a trick you can do is, let's say you have Shadowlands Belt, right? Then you pass the Wernstone to your ally, and you're about to do an Invis skip. Then you Invis, like, you use your Belt, and then if it works, you both save your pot. You both get through. If it fails... Then your ally invises through, and you use Wornstone to get to your ally. So you're not like you know in horrible danger if if the belt fails. You just use your Wornstone to get your ally, and it's not that bad. Okay, so that's an uh, that's the Shadowlands Engineering. Recommend this for Aug Evoker. You can use it as other people, obviously, to try to save yourself a pot. But if it backfires, you're down bad. So it's risky. All right, so that's all the old expansion engineering. Next, we'll talk a little bit about Dragonflight engineering because I've seen some people fail B-Res. Uh, you should never fail B-Res. So the first part is you should put calibrated safety switch on all of your engineering bracers. Safety fuses prevent uh, have a 15% less chance to make you, you have 15% less chance to malfunction. Uh, and then also, obviously, you should be an engineer. Then you go to specialization, mechanical mind, 35 points here. And this reduces the chance. I don't know how much, but my rogue has literally never failed to be res in all of Dragonflight. And that's all I do. I have calibrated safety switch plus 35 points here. If you want to be extra safe, you can go to optimized efficiency, uh, generalist, and then down here, 35 points. So it's like 45 points. Or no, it's, it's, it's 40 points. So you have five points here. Then you go here, 35 more points. Uh, and once you do that, you're like... Omega never fail, but my rogue already never fails in the NGRES, so with just the first one and calibrated safety switch. Uh, so yeah, make sure you do that so you never fail NGRES again. I know it's super frustrating when that happens. It can often cause a wipe. Uh, and that's it for the engineering video. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to follow, and I'll see you guys later.